What's going on guys? Matt here, Double M Lawn and Landscape. Come check us out. But right now, you're watching Lanier Lawn Care. What's up guys? Danny with, you know, Lanier Lawn Care as usual. The wind's blowing pretty good. Hopefully it ain't affecting the camera. It's been gorgeous out, but the wind has been killer. Today we're going to go over my overview slash review of the Green Touch Trimmer Racks. April and uh, the first thing you notice is it's starting to peel <clears throat> right here which you know I mean they're left out in the weather uh, so that's something that's just going to happen eventually they're going to turn all green uh, or all green I'm sorry all gray and uh, you know the paint's going to peel it's going to look like crap you'll have to repaint them but <clears throat> use a better spray paint I guess uh, but I, I absolutely love these racks. I'm going to tell you my pros and cons and how this rack works. So basically, a bunch of people you see, they mount this on top of the trailer right here. So this bottom mounts right here. This is the hardware they send you to mount it inside your trailer on an enclosed trailer. And I use this hardware to get uh, creative, you should say, and mounted it directly to the side of my trailer. So. I put it here, I marked my hose, I drilled my hose, then they send you an L-shaped bracket that comes with the kit. Uh, I just screwed it into the bottom of my trailer and then mounted it on top of this and here. So uh, if you mount it on the very top of your rail, then you're going to get sway. And with this, you get no sway whatsoever. There's no sway. I don't have to worry about that. I really like the way it turned out. And when I put my trimmer rack on, it still does not, or my trimmer on, it still does not stick out past my wheel well. So I'm great on that. <clears throat> so this is the way to mount these if you decide to mount them. Now, I will say, if you plan on putting a trimmer down here, it's great. Uh, plan on moving your edger up to the top somewhere, either the first or the second rack. Uh, that way it's not in the way down here. Your trimmer will fit just fine. So we're going to demonstrate how to put this on go over how it works here so basically they send you uh, the hardware kit and you take these uh, brackets right here and you just put them on loosely kind of tight but loose and then you put one on up top as well and basically what that's going to do is you you can find your place where you want them at and then once you find your place on this one um, with your other end in <clears throat> as this shall I say so let's say you've got them loose you put this end in here you slide this end in here and now you can adjust so you know if it's not tied up against it you can you can push this up some to it then you can go ahead and tighten this one right here this bracket will be good then you know this bracket's fine so you open this up make sure it's in the middle so it's not hard to slide in and out of your rack pull up on your handle here pull it out <coughs> turn it over and tighten it so it's very easy how to put them on the trimmers now I will say it will not fit on all of your trimmers pretty much if it's a homeowner trimmer or let's say uh, a SRM 225 a SRM 225 edger uh, PAS 225 something like that <clears throat> these brackets will not fit on these brackets will have to be, you'll either have to buy something to put inside of this bracket that they send you to make it tight against your, your uh, shaft here because this shaft is not thick enough on the smaller trimmers to tighten down completely. So then you'll have play in it. And for 200 and something dollars, uh, $225 for, for this trimmer rack, you would think that the brackets would work with any kind, but it don't. 
So you, you either A, you deal with it, or B, you, you buy a different rack. It's that simple. <clears throat> um, so you get them all on there, and basically how this rack works is I've already showed you here. You put this, slide this on, slide this in here, push it in. Now, it's not going anywhere right here, but you put it in the lock position, and you know, now you can pull up on this handle, and it still will not come out. It is locked in there. If you want to take it a step further, it comes with a padlock. You push this padlock in, and now it won't move at all. Now it'll stay in this lock position right here. It will not move until you unlock this padlock. Then you can move it out of the way, pull your trimmer out, and go to town. Very, very time, the time consumption of pulling this off is just, there is none. It's so easy. <clears throat> one second it's in, one second it's out, and you're on the go. You don't have to worry about it. Plus, it's easy to lock, it's easy to latch, and you ain't got to worry about somebody stealing your stuff. So I really like that about this. Now, for $225, you get this, you get the hardware you see here, and you get this with the padlock. You do not get the engine covers, or the engine stands, shall I say. Uh, your engine supports <clears throat> are for, like, uh, if you've watched certain videos like Blake from b, &B then you will know that he did not buy the engine supports and his uh, steel trimmer literally fell off the back of his, fell off his trimmer axe. It broke uh, the trimmer because of the sway. So these trimmer racks are pretty much worthless unless you buy the engine support. So what the engine support does is it keeps it on there. You just pull it up tight to where you need it against your engine, tighten your bolts on here, and it's not going nowhere. Now you have no hardly any place. So I mean, this is the play I have, like none. Like there's there's no play in that whatsoever. Um, and I love it. <clears throat> so another thing, once again, buy the engine supports. It's not worth breaking your trimmer on because you wanted these racks and you couldn't afford the engine supports. If you can afford the $225, spend the extra $45 on the three. Now this is the prices I'm giving you is for the three uh, trimmer rack and the three engine stand. Spend the 45 extra dollars, get the engine uh, supports because it's going to save you a lot of headache down the road. Now, that's pretty much it on the pros. Uh, the pros is it's, it's very quick and easy to take out and put back in. Um, I love the way it locks. I love the way it has a, a, you know, a padlock to lock that nobody can get in there and cut it out. Uh, <clears throat> in a previous video, we went over how to change the padlock. Um, I will say I still have not found a padlock, uh, but when it comes down to it, I bought some dry lube, sprayed in this. Seems to be working fine for now. I'll just keep it lubed up and maybe I'll be fine on that. So the other negative is, other than the lock, is for $225, I really believe they should include the engine supports. Um, this is a flaw on Green Touch's part for making a rack that people have <clears throat> had their engines and because all this is just weight on the back and if you're moving and you're hitting bumps and stuff Then it's just putting all that weight on your shaft. So it's going to break the shaft There were so many people that that broke their trimmers when they first got these uh, Last year and the year before that, you know green touch should have started including these in that price even if it was $250 you know Charge 250 for both of them, and I think that's a great deal. Uh, but $45 just for engine supports, that's a flaw on Green Touch's part of making this trimmer rack is totally unacceptable to me. And I also think that they should fix this lock mechanism to where you can buy other locks other than what they consider a number three. Because a number three, as you've seen in a previous video, will not work. It has to be exactly the same as pretty much this lock for it to work. 
Uh, so not any number three will work as they state in their instructions. Other than that, I really do like these racks. Um, would I buy them again? Probably not. I, I really have to say I like them for what they are. I really enjoy them for what I paid last year for them um, because I paid full price for them. But <clears throat> I, I think it has some flaws now that I've used it for a year that I would really consider going to a different brand. The reason I do like these though is they keep your trimmers from turning or moving in any kind of way, shape, form, or fashion. And I really do like that about these racks. So when these wear out, I will probably be looking for another set of trimmer racks unless Green Touch fixes some of the things that they've got going on with this. Um, <clears throat> but other than that guys, I really do have a, a love-hate relationship with these. I'm sure other people love them. Uh, that's why I bought them because a lot of other people liked them. But when it came right down to it, you know, after I paid what I paid for them, <coughs> excuse me, after I paid what I paid for them, I think the engine supports should be something that they include in it. I think they should also include at least one extra lock uh, with it. They they give you one lock and five keys. You know, that's great and dandy, but I, I really think they should include an extra lock. should be like 250 bucks. It shouldn't have to cost you $275 for engine supports and a trimmer rack because that's going to throw a lot of people off. They're going to be like, well, that's expensive, you know. And it really is expensive, but it's it's the question is, is it worth it to you? I really like the security I get with using this rack. However, I don't like the lock mechanism of replacing the lock because I've wasted so much time trying to find one that it's, you know, it's pointless anymore for me to keep trying. And I, I really do believe that for a flaw on a trimmer rack company's part, this should be included once trimmer started breaking they should have said oh we'll take care of that for you and send you the trimmer engine supports instead of saying uh, you know I've had companies tell me that literally they have told them now this is hearsay I can't say for sure but I've had quite a few companies tell me that when they have broke their trimmers that Green Touch's response was you should have bought the engine supports <clears throat> That's all in all fine and dandy, but you should have included them in the box. Even if you spend $275 and add them to it, it shouldn't be an option to buy these. It should be included in the package, regardless of what your price is. That's how I feel about it. Because this is something you can't live without. Like, I know I'm not trying to make my $400 weed eater go to crap because I couldn't spend 45 extra bucks. So <clears throat> start including this in the package with the trimmer racks. Sell it for a, a higher price if you want to. Whatever, 250, 275 for the three uh, engine supports, the three trimmer rack holder, and call it good. Don't make it an option that if you want to buy it, you can't. Because you know the problem that people are having with it. Quit making it an option. Start including it. And then, if it breaks because they didn't put the engine support on, then it's their problem. Then it don't become Green Touch's problem anymore because it was included. So, that's my pros, cons on this whole thing. Uh, hopefully, my paint don't chip crazily. Uh, like I said, I've had it for, for little under a year now, and it's held up great. I really do like it. I like the way it holds them in there. I like the no movement. Once again, I'm going over the same thing over and over again. If you have any questions about this trimmer rack, comment down below. I will answer them to the best of my acknowledgement. Um, and we will go from there. But hopefully y'all like this review. Uh, I tried to give you a good in-depth pro and con review of the things I like, the things I don't like, and you can make up your decision from there. So until next time, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.